As the month of December approaches, you might be thinking about how you can bring a little bit of Christmas spirit into your life. There are a lot of movies out there that can be compared to a warm sugar cookie, and you can watch any one of them whenever you want. Here are top 5 Christmas Hallmark movies. 5. Christmas in Evergreen. Ashley Williams plays the role of Ali Shaw, a veterinarian who, as you probably guessed, makes a wish upon a snow globe in the film starring her. That wish does not come true in the way that she had hoped it would, as soon as she and her boyfriend are forced to remain stranded at the airport due to the snowstorm, which has caused all flights to be cancelled. But when an improbable friendship with other stranded travelers begins to form, Ali comes to terms with the fact that her wish might actually be coming true, even if it isn't in the way that she expected it would be. Is it possible to have the best Christmas ever while being snowed in at the airport with your boyfriend and a group of complete strangers? Observing it is undeniably entertaining. 4. The Royal Nanny. The Royal Nanny spies are here. Romance. Princes who are to die for. The Royal Nanny is truly one of those movies that has all the ingredients to become a classic holiday classic. Rachel Scarston stars as the titular nanny, who is also a secret MI5 agent working inside Kensington Palace. Pour yourself a glass of something festive and escape into this one. 3. Every Christmas has a story. Cameron Bure, a seasoned performer in Hallmark movies, is not here, but her aunt from television is. After declaring on air that she hates Christmas, Lori Laughlin plays the role of Kate Harper, a journalist who finds herself in need of rehabilitation. The next step in the process is for her to accompany her ex, boyfriend, Colin Ferguson, on a trip to Holly Vale, which is widely considered to be the second most important location associated with Christmas after the North Pole. Even if only on a surface level, she harbors the hope that she will be able to improve the way the general public views her by moving to the town that celebrates Christmas the most. However, it is also possible that this will be the turning point in her life. 2. The Christmas Train. According to Tom Langdon, a journalist, it's not about where you end up, it's about how you get there. At least, that's how he feels about it. Tom Langdon's character played by Dermot Mulroney in the movie. Tom has his eyes opened to the real significance of Christmas Tom Langdon, a jaded journalist, decides to take a train journey from Washington, D.C., to Los Angeles around the holiday season. His goals are to find new story ideas and to pay tribute to his late father. Tom gets to know the other passengers on the train, one of whom happens to be an old flame of his, and discovers that they may have what it takes to open up both his mind and his heart during the course of this long ride. Seriously, wow. That's quite the journey. 1. The Royal Christmas. Emily Corrigan is a considerate and modest seamstress who takes a great deal of pride in her roots as a member of the working class. She lives in Philadelphia, where she works tirelessly to contribute to the success of her family's tailoring business. Emily is content with her uncomplicated life and cannot contain her excitement about the prospect of spending the upcoming holiday season for the very first time as a couple with her cherished European boyfriend Leo James. However, as Christmas approaches, Leo unexpectedly reveals that he is actually Prince Leopold, the heir to the throne of the small nation of Cordinia, and that he would like to bring her home to his kingdom so that she can meet his family. However, because of said family, Emily is made to feel as though she does not belong in this new royal setting, and it becomes a significant Christmas challenge for her just to fight for the continuation of her relationship in the face of class politics, marriage schemes, and family drama. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.